Hi, I'm Dr. Bob Wetmore. I have been teaching at Foreman Christian College since 2008. I'm glad you're looking at the information about CRST 155 interpreting the Bible. Uh, let me tell you a bit about the course. If you were to ask me why I am teaching this course, I can give you a simple answer that shows my heart for what we do in the course. First of all, I want students to know the basic story of the Bible, which can be super helpful in interpreting what the Bible teaches. Most people in Pakistan, probably in the whole world, don't realize that the Bible is one continuous story, which begins in the Garden of Eden and ends in the new heavens and the new earth when Jesus comes back. You can start in Genesis, and you can actually literally follow that story page by page all the way through the Old Testament. It's pretty amazing. Most people don't even know that. Second, I want students to read passages of the Bible and interpret them, which means understand what they mean according to their context. You see, since the Bible is one continuous story, when we, we try to understand a passage in the Bible, we, we need to understand how does it fit into the story, right? Because if the whole Bible is the story, how does each passage of the Bible fit in the sentences before, the sentences after? Uh, that's what we mean by context. So third, my deepest heart goal is that some of the students who take this course will end up reading the Bible for themselves, maybe even every day. But I don't want them just to read it. I, I don't, that doesn't mean anything. Oh, I wrote the Bible in a year. Did you learn something? Did you get something from it? Was it helpful? Probably not. You're probably so busy reading, you didn't even think what you were reading. So we're going to spend a lot of chi time trying to figure out how to study the Bible for ourselves in ways that we get something from it. Well, it's pretty big goals, but in the past, it's been pretty successful. So, what are we going to do in the course? Well, first of all, we're going to do what's called timeline quizzes. They're kind of boring at first, but after a couple of weeks, you'll get really fast at them. By the end of the semester, you'll have a very good idea how the entire Bible all fits together. Several students have told me that this is their favorite part of the course. Secondly, we will do personal Bible studies, both in group work, in class, as well as online. So this will give you experience in doing Bible studies for your own personal growth. That's important. That's one of our main goals. Thirdly, we'll do what I call context studies. Uh, these are projects, some in class, some online, which help you understand a Bible passage by looking at the context. That's what's before, what's after. They're kind of a little bit like personal Bible studies in the sense I want you to grow in a skill of reading a passage in context. Super important, and it's God's will for us all to read the Bible in its context. Okay, so who should take this course? It's a great question. If you are not interested in gaining skills in interpreting the Bible, then you probably shouldn't take this course. However, if you think you would like to learn how to study the Bible, this course is for you. Plus, of course, as always, any student who's planning to major in Christian studies has to take this course. Also, if you're interested in studying other courses on the Bible at former Christian college, you'll need this course as a prerequisite. I hope this helps you decide if this course is for you. Maybe I'll see you in class. Have a great semester.